This is part six of our video on operations with logarithmic functions. So our question says, for the functions h of x equals 7 times ln x plus 3, and k of x is 14 times ln cubed x minus 29 ln squared x plus 13 ln x plus 12, determine a simplified expression for k divided by h of x. So k divided by h of x is just k of x divided by h of x. k of x is this very long expression. So 14 ln cubed x minus 29 ln squared x plus 13 ln x plus 12. And then I think when I do the division, I'm going to write it as a fraction just to save myself some space. Uh, we are dividing by h of x, which is 7 ln x plus 3. So, so far the only type of division that we have learned is long division. We also have division rules for exponents, but that is not going to help us here. Um, so we need to do some long division to see how many times 7 ln x plus 3 goes into k of x. Now, if you want to do that with the lawns, go for it. I think this would be an excellent candidate for variable replacement. So when I'm trying to pick the thing that I want to put A or B or whatever letter in for, I'm not looking at the exponents. I'm just looking at the log, the base, and the argument. So lawn is log base E. So we're going to do lawn, and then the argument is X. So I'm just going to let A be lawn x. I don't use the exponent, right? We're just taking the log with its base and the argument. So if I let ln x be a, for, oh, we're going to do this. So 7, we want to know how many times does 7 ln x, ln x is a, plus 3. How many times does 7a plus 3 go into? 14, and then ln x cubed. So ln x is a, and then that's all cubed, so a cubed. And then minus 29. And then I have ln squared x, so that's going to be a squared. And then plus 13 ln x, or 13a. And then plus 12. Oh, you can't see that. So basically all I did was I took the lons all out and in their place, I just put a lot of A's. Okay, so we are going to divide. So I want to figure out and always focus on that very first term. How do I turn a 7A into a 14A cubed? Well, to turn a 7 into a 14, we have to multiply by 2. And to turn an A into an A cubed, I need an A squared. So I'm going to multiply by 2A squared. So I'm going to write that above its like term friend here, A squared. So I'm going to write... 2a squared up top, and then I'm going to multiply this by everything in the divisor. So 2a squared times 7a is 14a cubed. If I don't get that, we've done something wrong. 2a squared times 3, this is the easy part to forget, that is 6a squared. And then what we do is we divide Sorry, we subtract to see what's left over. So 14a cubed minus 14a cubed is 0. Negative 29 minus positive 6. I think is negative 35, but I am just going to check because my brain's a little fuzzy today. I've got negative 35, so that is negative 35a squared. 13a take away nothing is 13a. And 12 take away nothing is 12. All right, we're going to go back to that first term, 7a. How do we turn that into a negative 35a squared? Well, to turn a 7 into a negative 35, we need to multiply by negative 5. And to turn an a into an a squared, I need another a. So negative 5a times 7a is negative 35a squared. And then negative 5a times 3 is negative 15a. 
We're going to subtract to see what's left over. So negative 35 take away, negative 35 is zero. 13 take away, negative 15, I believe is 28, but I am just going to double check that. Yep, I got 28. And then 12 take away nothing is 12. All right, last one. How do we turn a 7a into a 28a? We multiply by four. How do I know this is the last one? Because this is just an a and this is an a. So I know that after this, there won't be another one because I won't have any a's left. So I'm going to get four times seven is 28a. Four times three is 12. When I subtract 28, take away 28 is zero. 12 take away 12 is zero. So we have a remainder of zero. Because the remainder is zero, that tells me that it divides in evenly. So I need to go back and try to figure out how we're going to take this and turn it into the answer for this. How many times did 7a plus 3 go into this expression? It went in 2a squared minus 5a plus 4 times with a remainder of zero, so nothing left over. So it basically just went in 2a squared minus 5a plus 4 times. And we're going to take those a's and replace them with ln x's. So this is going to be 2 ln a squared. So, sorry, 2 a squared. So 2 ln squared x. And then minus 5a. So minus 5 ln x. And then plus 4. And then if there was a remainder, I would plus the remainder, which is 0 out of whatever the denominator here is, so 7 ln x plus 3. But 0 divided by anything is 0, and 4 plus 0 is just zero, is 4. <laughs> so this is just 2 ln squared x minus 5 ln x plus 4. All right, that's it for question number 6. We have one. More question to go. It's a very long lesson today, I'm sorry. Uh, so I will see you in our last video to take a look at question number seven.